What's up, MFGs, Mini, and Eric? We just got out of A24's latest film, Civil War, which was, you know, this was their biggest film ever. It, it grossed like 25 million at the box office. It was their biggest opening ever. But they did spend 50 million on it, so I mean, whatever. I did not like the main character. Hmm. Yes, Civil War, which if you go by the trailer, you think this was a war movie and it's not war, not a war movie it there's a war going on so kirsten dunst and three other journalists are on their way to washington dc to interview the president because there's two factions there's the united states of america minus the western forces which was what states texas and california yeah so they are they don't actually tell you why you're in the civil war the second civil war because there was one in the you know the 1800s Captain America. yeah not not marvel but we you don't actually know why there's a civil war all you know that is is there's california and texas who are against the president and his you know for, for whatever reason um did they say why i don't think they did i i read things online where people said it was because he's you know the president he's, he's attacked bad. he's yeah he's bad he's attacking his own people and he's i guess broke the constitution he's been the president for three terms but with that being said so these these four journalists are on their way to washington dc to interview the president and they you know they're going through they're going from new york to dc and they go through these towns you got people i think along the way it reminded me of resident evil because it's like isolated everywhere again so they're on their way to Washington, D.C., and they go through all these towns. Some people who are, they don't even want to deal with the Civil War that's going on. And then there's people who are definitely on one side versus the other side. But they don't actually tell you why they're on one specific side. So it's up to us to decide what side we're on, really. Um, but this this movie does a pretty good job of saying that war is bad. And it shows the horrors of war. You got people getting run over, getting shot. Yeah, it's it's pretty brutal. I mean, it's pretty realistic with the with the you know the there's a lot of deaths and it's they did a pretty good job of showing of showing that war is hell, kind of like they did in Full Metal Jacket. You never watched that. You should. It's really good. It's one of my favorite war movies. Um, yeah, Kirsten Dunst. She's one. I you know, I've always liked her. She's the best MJ. No, Mary Jane no, Watson. Zendaya. Is. Zendaya sucks. Kirsten Dunst. She's the best MJ. Anyway, she was. Uh, I thought all the all the acting, all the characters were actually pretty good. Um, that one, what was that? That one old dude, that old fat guy. He was he was pretty good too. He's my favorite. I didn't actually know any of the other characters except for that one guy from Breaking Bad who says, "What kind of American are you?" That was kind of, that was in the trailer. That was kind of a an, an an interesting scene, not what you would expect. I didn't really expect this for the entire movie. Um, I I went I went going in that. I knew that it wasn't going to be a war movie. I originally thought it was going to be a war movie, but then I listened to people in their reviews. We watched the trailer in social studies. Mm, yeah, it's not a war movie. It makes you think about war. It makes you want to pick a side. But good acting. The effects. I thought A24 or Alex Garland uh, for for A24. The you know the way that they depicted the scenes looked pretty looked pretty lifelike. I did like the story was kind of you know got journalists going across the, the country from new york to dc so i mean if you want to call that a story what do you think i don't really like anything like to do with presidents and that type of stuff wow i hate nick offerman i guess i yeah he he played the president but he had like three words <laughs> it was like five yeah i guess he's in all alex garland's movies um movie's okay Think it was six. She's got nothing. She said six out of ten. I'm gonna probably go seven out of ten. Seven, maybe seven and a half. I thought it was I'm not sure I'd I'd watch it again anytime soon. I mean it was nope. it was fine to watch one time. I wouldn't necessarily say I enjoyed myself. Some of the scenes were kinda a little too a little too realistic to wanna, you know, sit through some of that again. Makes me think about school. Mm, I didn't. But it made me think about that war is hell basically um 
the, the, the most action in the movie was at the end when they were, I can't even say it because it would probably spoil it, but anyway, when they get to DC, that was pretty, pretty there intense. There was a lot of dead bodies. There was tons of dead bodies. Like I said, they got it pretty realistic. Um, yeah, it's not for the squeamish of hearts. So just, you know, going in, it's, there's a, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty graphic, pretty brutal. Um, it is what it is. So it's, it shows, it shows how war is bad and, you know, war sucks pretty much nothing, nothing usually good comes that comes from war. So seven out of 10, you know what you're going into. It's not a war movie. It basically shows you the opposite of war. So why you don't want to go to war, that type of stuff. Seven out of ten. Six. Alex Garland, Civil War, Nick Offerman, Kirsten Dunst, the best MJ. Zendaya. Zendaya sucks. You suck. <laughs> We're going to Burger King, getting the cotton candy, cloud drink, whatever. Anyway, we're out of here. Come back again. See what movie we're going to see. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share, bro.